So we're going to be doing here is making up some holders to suit these boring bars here. Now these are quite small ones and as you can see here we've got the standard type boring bar. Uh, this is the smallest one I've got in this style and we've got to make up some holders from this block of steel here um, to fit into right these holders for the lathe. So it's got to fit in this area here and we'll be cutting these off and then we're going to have to mill them down to size and then drill them through right to take on these much smaller boring bars. So we're going to be using the horizontal saw. Um, again what we'll be doing is, is setting these up so we can cut them off now. Each, each of these that we're measuring is 30mm so we'll be cutting off um, blocks of 30mm and there's six of those that have to come out of this one here. As you can see I've moved the vice jaws right over to right, the right. I'll put a supporting block in and on the far side because as this moves out um, it's going to become a problem. And we're going to come into a further problem later on because as it moves out it's going to not have much grip so I'll have to put a supporting block zone underneath that to stop it from tilting. So we've got the first mark on, um, we've just got a pencil mark on there and we're just going to cut to the opposite side of that line, it'll just allow us a little bit more leeway in case this thing doesn't cut super straight. Um, and this will be our first block, and then we'll just move down and do right and do the rest. So we'll just bring the saw down and start to cut for the first one. So as you can see here, we're kind of getting to the, ex the extreme end for the vise to be able to hold. So what we've done is um, yeah, chopped it up this end so it's just a, a firm, comfortable fit. It's not pulling up, it's not pulling down. And that way we can get the saw into the cut and maintain the cut until it gets um, through to the end. So the boring bar holders are making progress, um, we've got them cut down to rough size now, uh, the next stage is to put them onto the mill and bring them down to final size and then once we get that done then we'll have to um, set them up to um, actually drill the holes, holes in as well. So what we're going to do is um, bring these down to size to fit into here, so the distance from the top to the bottom inside, you have the holder is 12 millimeters so that's basically what we'll be bringing these down to so they just fit inside and a bit of room for the right securing bolts to come down on and the thickness this way is right 15 mil and that'll just bring them a little bit past out um, and going into this area here will be three set screws that will be eventually put in and the holder hole right going in the front so as you can see we've got our boring bar holders and what we're doing now is just going to um, make a flat on one side so we have a reference side and of course this is all uneven and untrue. Um, we're just going to use the parallel lined up with the edge by eye and then just run the cutter across it and then we're going to do that for each one. So what I've done is I've used the parallel just as a reference level so it gives us an edge to work on and we just line that up level with the top of the parallel and now we'll just run the cutter across.
Alright, so we've gone across and just skimmed the top of the surface. And as you can see, we're kind of cutting down one side, not cutting all the way across, and then coming back around, coming the other side, and that reduces the amount of burr that you get on the edges. So all I'm doing now is just cleaning off whatever's left there and just go around and just take all the burr off making sure that the edges are free We're now doing the, on the next surface um, our reference is that we cut before um, and we put into the back drawer where it should be we'll actually just trim these down um, a bit to square them up and then we'll move to right the next side So we just finish our, our second surface, so as before, um, we just go through and make sure there's no burrs on our edges, and then get rid of those. Now this particular uh, boring bar holder here, um, we've got a fairly uneven surface, so what we've done is put some, right, some copper wire in, just to take up the unevenness on, on this side, um, our, our surface height is against the back jaw. So as you can see here we've got a lot of burr showing up on one edge and that's what happens if you do a cut clean across the surface. Now the, the item was in the cutter that way, the cutter's rotating around in this direction. And you can see it's clean on this side, uh, it's clean here, a little bit of burr on the edge, but it throws out a lot of burr on the opposite side. So if, if you have the cutter, send it a bit over halfway, you know, on the, right, the material you're cutting, and then bring it down, bring it across, and then bring it down the other way, it reduces that. So we're on to the third side now. So um, we basically put the boring bar holder into the vise. Um, you know, we did blow the hammer that down so the parallels are tight. So what we're going to do is do one cut, and once we get that cut done, we'll do a measurement. and. From that measurement we'll adjust the DRO and we'll do the second cut and that'll be the final cut for that side. fourth side now. Um, now what we're going to do here is bring that down to 12 mil total thickness. So we're just going to take a number of cuts through and get that down to size and that'll finish off all, all four sides. So we're just doing the final length for the um, boring bar holders, holders and we're just trimming off this end here. So we've trimmed off this end, um, we've put a stop in, 
and we set the mill up to um, the right position and now we can just come in and get that dead on. So what we've got here is our boring bar holders and we've made right six of them and we've got all those machined down so that they fit inside the holder and as you can see there we've got about a mil a mil and a half gap at the top there so it gives us plenty of play room to actually clamp down onto the holder. The next thing we've got to do is put a, a hole in the front end of all these and that is to take the boring bar. So we'll have to measure those up and get that set up.